Well, you've probably seen a whole rainbow of colors all over the city of trees because the 30th annual Boise Pride Festival is underway right now. And a lot of people are expected to flood into downtown Boise through the weekend to show support for the LGBTQ community. Our Joe Paris is live at Cecil D. Andrus Park with a look at this weekend's events. Hi, Joe. Hey, good afternoon, Tammy. Yes, thousands of people are going to file in here this weekend. They've got a full schedule of events, but to tell you about it, we got Joseph Kibbe here with us. He's the vice president of the festival. And Joseph, uh, first, what is this all about here this weekend? This is our 30th anniversary for Boise Pride Festival. So really, it's about the community coming together, celebrating a strong history of uh, LGBT individuals within Boise and the state of Idaho. So I'm really excited. As you can see, the festival grounds are filling in really nicely. Um, and we're expecting a record crowd this week at about 55 to hopefully 60,000 individuals over the two-day course of the festival. So this is really what it's about, just coming together as a community and celebrating. And for people that are new to the area, what exactly happens at the Boise Pride Festival? There's festivals all across the country. What happens here? So um, Boise Pride Festival is really unique um, to the spirit of Boise. Um, you know, this is a chance for individuals to come down and see what's happening in the community, um, come together and celebrate. Uh, the state capitol is a beautiful backdrop right in front of the park. Uh, we do community concert, fireworks at 1030 and uh, lighting of the capitol at 1030. So this is really just a chance to come interact and be a part of your community. A story we've been following and uh, you and I were talking about the much talk about lighting of the capitol with the colors. It will happen again here tonight. Tell us how that came together. Yeah, that uh, came together with a uh, community support fundraising campaign uh, through GoFundMe. Uh, that was raised by the Community to Access Funds and also Albertsons uh, Corporation of Hotbox Farms helped raise those additional funds. Uh, we've got high powered LED lights that are over here behind us and we're going to move forward with the illumination of the Capitol building. Uh, I've talked to Idaho State Police today and uh, Boise Police Department and made them aware of the plans. and. Uh, I've left the door open until right up until the time of the event for Director Mooney to reach out and talk to us, but I have not had a response yet, so uh, we're just moving forward. And of course, the main event tomorrow is that big parade. Before I let you go, what time is the parade? Yeah, the parade is at 10 o'clock. Um, it's going to be a record breaker, about 15,000 people out there, so get here early and pick your spot out. It's going to be a great time this weekend. Well, Brian and Tammy, the music about to kick off here any minute now, and we were talking about that parade, 15,000 people. This is actually one of the biggest events in the city of Boise of the year, so if you're heading downtown this weekend, expect a crowd. There's going to be a lot of people here at the Boise Pride Fest. I know you mentioned the parade is the main event, but we were down there last year and for that drag show, it was a crowd favorite. People love that and that's going on tomorrow afternoon as well. So look forward to that. Thank you, Joe. A sight to behold all it's, of it. It's it yeah. is a vision or a visual. Yes.